For policy evaluations, randomized control trials are the gold standard for providing valid evidence of program impacts. However, they can be both time-consuming and expensive to implement. Adaptive randomization, a novel extension to the traditional approach to randomization, can provide more timely and less expensive evidence without sacrificing the crucial methodological principle of randomization. To determine whether a policy, program, or intervention caused outcomes to improve, a study's design must rule out causes of improvement other than the intervention. Take a job training program as an example. In a non-randomized trial, perhaps the people who enroll in the program are generally more motivated and persistent than those who tend not to enroll. Since motivated people are more likely to succeed in the labor market than less motivated people, any difference in outcomes between the two groups could reflect their different motivation levels rather than the program's effectiveness. Randomization ensures that characteristics like motivation are the same on average in the intervention and control groups. And this similarity is a distinguishing feature of randomized trials, the basis for making valid statements about causal effects. The key innovation of adaptive design is that the randomization scheme adapts to accumulating evidence. For example, in a standard design, students from each cohort are randomized with equal probability to each of the five arms. With Bayesian adaptive design, students from the first cohort are randomized with equal probability to each of the five arms, but subsequently, as evidence accumulates, more students are randomized to the most promising treatment arms. In the coming years, public programs will continue to capture even more and richer data than they do now, including data from web-based tools used by participants in employment services, from tablet-based educational curricula, and from the electronic health record for Medicaid beneficiaries. Policy evaluation seeking to take advantage of the full volume and velocity of this data stream will require novel statistical methods. Additionally, the need to understand what works for whom is pressing. Consider the wide array of public programs currently evaluated through RCTs, employment services for unemployed, education tools for struggling readers, and supported services for adolescents on Medicaid, just to name a few. With a precise understanding of what works for whom, each of these programs could be better targeted to specific subgroups. Today, the demand for policy evaluations that are simultaneously cheaper and more informative is increasing. A danger is that this demand might tempt researchers to abandon the rigorous methods such as randomized control trials that are crucial for making valid causal inference about program impacts. Expanding our expertise and experience in adaptive design will further Mathematica's mission to improve public well-being through efficient and rigorous research.